Hi everyone. So guys, now we are starting with the third chapter that is consignment accounts. And this chapter is very important for you. Plus sir, this chapter is very interesting also here. So let us start with the introduction here. But before saying anything here, I'll give one example here and understand what is happening here. There is one company called Hyundai company. This company is manufacturing cars. Understand here, this company is actually from South Korea. But sir, this company is selling their cars all over the world, sir. How is this possible? How is this sir? possible? So understand what is happening here. This Hyundai company, they want to expand themselves all over the world here. But being a single company, sir, how can he go? If you want to start branches everywhere, sir, he has to incur a huge cost. Just understand what is happening here. You might be thinking, sir, he can start the branches in so many countries here and he can expand here. No doubt, he can start the branches in so many countries and he can uh, expand themselves here. But the problem is, sir, starting the branches in so many places here, in all, all over the world here, what will happen here? Sir, you have to incur huge amount of price here. You have to incur huge cost here. At the same time, what you have to do is, sir, you have to manage all the branches. That is a big headache here. Yes or no. So hence, what this Hyundai company is doing here, they are saying here, I'll not start any branch. Understand here, I'll not start any branch for selling the goods here. I'll appoint certain agents. I'll appoint certain agents. I'll go to them and I will say to them here, boss, I'll give license to sell my car. Got it? Everything will be yours. Only car will be mine. You have to purchase the building, you have to register the company in some other company other than the Hyundai. You register some other company for selling my cars. You start the branch, you uh, purchase a building, you employ the employees and you have to manage everything here. I'll just give cars, whatever the cars are manufacturing, I'll just give these cars to you and you have to sell my cars on my behalf here got it here on my behalf here i'll give license to sell my cars to you and whatever the cars you will sell on that okay i'll give you commission here so what is happening here hyundai company let us say they understand this carefully here they are entering an agreement with the talwar hyundai an agent here so hyundai company is saying to the talwar hyundai hey talwar hyundai you are my agent you purchase a building you purchase the plant and machinery you install the computer, you employ the laborers and some employees also. What I will do? I will just give my cards to you. You sell the cards to the customer. So Talwar Hyundai will sell the cards to the customer. Customer will, the, will pay the price to whom? Talwar Hyundai. And Talwar Hyundai will give back this price to whom? To the Hyundai company. And Hyundai company will give some commission to the Talwar Hyundai got it here for selling their car here. So this kind of a contract, this kind of examples will come under the consignment account. Got it here? Will come under the consignment contracts here. Consignment business also you can say here. So what is happening in this consignment business? Sir, there is one Hyundai company. He is appointing an agent, Talwar Hyundai. Agent is selling the cars on behalf of Hyundai to the customer. Yes or no? And whatever the price customer will pay. Customer will pay the price to whom? Talwar Hyundai. Talwar Hyundai will give back this price to whom? To the Hyundai. Yes or no? And Hyundai will give commission to the Talwar Hyundai. Why? Because he is selling the cars here. Got it? So in this way, sir, this contract comes into existence. So here, this Hyundai company will be called as consigner. Will be called as a consigner. This you have to remember. The main person will be called as a consigner. And Talwar Hyundai will be called as a consignee. Agent will be called as a consignee. So you can say in this way also here, sir, Hyundai company is called consignor, Talwar Hyundai is called consignee. And Hyundai company is also called as principal. Why? Because he is the main person. And Talwar Hyundai is called agent here. Sir, how about the customer? Customer is called customer. Ante. Got it here? Understood here? So this is what happening in the consignment contract here or in the consignment business. Now let us see the points one by one after understanding this point here. Every businessman or a manufacturer or a trader tries his best to expand his business. Of course, sir, whether you are a businessman, whether you are a manufacturer or a trader, you will try your best to expand your business. To achieve it, he tries to start the business in many other places. So in order to expand himself, sir, what he will try to do? He will try to uh, start his uh, business places, uh, business uh, at every other place here. Yes or no? 
so next opening branches in all the places involves lots of expenditure as i said you sir if hyundai company want to start his company everywhere all over the world here it will take a lot of expenditure yes or no so what like what he will do see the next point so he starts a network of branches and sells the goods through them here nothing but he will start a network of agent you can say here and he will sell the goods through the agent here got it therefore he appoints agents at other places and through them he sells the goods on commission basis here got it here now the next topic is meaning of consignment business see guys just now we have seen the introduction here now to see the meaning sir no doubt whatever we have learned in the introduction the same thing we will find here also so just see this example okay again appearing here i don't need to explain this example once again you can see here so i'll just read the points and you will understand here the process of sending of goods by one person to another person for sale is known as a consignment it means sir the process in which hyundai company is sending the goods not selling hyundai company is sending not selling hyundai company is sending the goods to whom to the talwar hyundai yes or no so the process of sending of goods by hyundai to the talwar hyundai is known as a what is known as a consignment here yes or no next the person who sends the goods is known as a consigner so here hyundai company will be called as a consigner and the person to whom the goods are sent is known as a consignee tell me in our example these goods are sent to whom sir these goods are sent to talwar hyundai so talwar hyundai will be called as a consignee next the consigner is called the principal and the consignee is called agent already we have seen here sir hyundai will be called as a consigner and uh, talwar hyundai will be called as a agent here next the consignee is paid commission for selling the goods on behalf of consignor at the risk of owner or the consignor sir what do you mean by this this point okay giving some extra point here they are saying here see you please carefully sir no doubt talwar hyundai is selling the goods to the customer but sir in case if the goods are destroyed if anything happens wrong with the goods here and customer is filing suit or if customer is not paying the price sir tell me who will uh, bear this risk here sir this risk will be borne by the whom by the consignor here yes or no and not the consignee it means sir this risk will be borne by the hyundai and not by the talwar hyundai so hence i am saying here the consignee is paid commission for selling the goods on behalf of the consignor so consignor will be paying commission to whom to the consignee hyundai company will be paying commission to the talwar hyundai and why because sir he is selling the goods here yes or no so this you have to keep in the mind at any cost 